uh, if you can mute yourself uh, and uh, unmute yourself when you have any questions, then it'll be easier uh, because otherwise it's uh, feedback that I get. Uh, it can be a little bit uh, uh, tough. So whenever you have a question, you just unmute yourself and then uh, ask the question. Okay. This uh, uh, we'll start begin with the Vishnu Puranam this time. And uh, it is there for the fifth uh, uh, exam for Chittur. Um, there are about nine parts in the fifth uh, paper, and one of them is Puranam. So I'll give a small introduction about Vishnu Puranam, Puranam as such, and what is the difference. And then we will go in directly into the text. Because this is focused towards the exam, uh, I may not uh, delve very deeply in to the uh, too much into the meaning. Yes, <laughs> I will look at the Vyakyanam and wherever necessary, I will uh, include that and Adi uh, the Mudiyad because uh, if I have to just give the cursory meaning, it is uh, uh, it doesn't make sense to study Vishnu Puranam in that manner. Let me, because it is one of the oldest of the 18 Puranas. Um, so let me start off. Narayanam, Namaskritya, Naranjeva, Narottamam, Devim, Saraswatim, Vacham, Tato, Jayam, Udhirayet. Jitamte, Pundarikaksha, Namaste, Vishwabhavana, Namaste, Stu, Hrishi, Kesha, Mahapurusha, Purvaja, Sadaksharam, Brahma, Yaishwara, Puman, Gunormi, Srishti, Sthiti, Kala, Sanlayaha. Pradhana buddhyadi jagat prapancha suhu sanostu vishnur mati bhuti mukti daha. <clears throat> there are totally 18 Puranas, uh, 18 Mahapuranas, and there are a lot of Upapuranas. Uh, the, it, there is a difference with what are all the 18 Puranas. You will find Bhagavata Puranam in some list. Some lists may not say Bhagavata Puranam. Some lists might have uh, uh, something else. So, I don't want to get into all those because that is uh, what we need is the content. We don't need the, to go and get into the charcha of uh, how many Puranas are there or what is considered as legally as what is considered as the correct uh, uh, Purana in the 18 list of 18. No, uh, in the uh, set of literature that we have, the oldest form is Vedas. Then you have the Itihasa Purana. Of course, Sutra literature is there. You have Dharma Shastras. Then you have uh, Itihasa Puranam. After that, you have the Kavyam. What is the differences between the language and what is the Pradhanyam for each of these three? The first one is Veda. Tatra, uh, Shabda Pradhanam Vedakhyam Prabhu Samhita Muchyate Ishat Padham Yatha Padhe Pratyavayasya Darshanat. This is the definition that is given by Sri Vidyadhara in his text called Ekavali, which is a 13th century text. Uh, so Vedam is actually equated to a Prabhu. Prabhu is a Raja. Prabhu Sammitam ityukte Prabhu Sadrishaha iva yatha Raja Agnyapayati tatha Vedo api evam kartavyam evam na kartavyam ityeva vadati. So there is no difference. It gives an order like a Prabhu. Vidhi nishedha vakya rupena. So, vidhi vakyam ityukte etat kartavyam. So, satyam vada, dharmam chara. Tatra nishedha vakyam tu swadhyayan ma pramaditavyam. You should not stop reading. You should not tell a lie. You should not, these are all, there. it either tells you what to do or it tells you what not to do. That is its approach. So, it is a shabda pradhana uh, set of literature. So, the words are much more important. The sound is much more important. Next, when you come to Puranam, Itihasadikam Shastram Mitra Sammitam Uchyate. Mitra Sammitam, uh, like a friend. It will advise you like a friend. So, what does a friend do? Purva Purushanam Charitam Ullekheti. Teshantu Tatra Stuti Ninda Purvakam Ragadvesha Utpadya. So, when you praise a person who has done a great job, you, you immediately feel uh, uh, good towards that person. There is a raga or a desire towards that person or a dvesha. If you look at a person who is acting very weirdly and are uh, in a very hateful manner, dvesha ha utpadyate tatra tamprati. 
तथा एवं कर्तव्यम एवं न कर्तव्यम यदि एवं कुर्म तरी राग उत्पद्यते एवं यदि न कुर्म तरी देफ यू इफ यू आक्ट इन ए वेरी बैड मैनर देन इट इज गोइंग टू इंड्यूज हेट्रेड इन अदर्स डू यू वॉन्ट टू इंड्यूज एफेक्शन टूवर्ड्स अदर पर्सन और डू यू वॉन्ट टू इंड्यूज हेट्रेड सो यू आर गिवेन द चॉइस ऑफ वेइंग द प्रोज एंड कॉन्स ऑफ युअर एक्शन बिकॉज समन एल्स इज हेज डन लाइक दिस okay someone else has shown you what how they have lived their life and you look at that so a friend is a person who will give you such advices he won't say do this do that so you see this person lived like this and hence the result is like this hence you can also live like this so evam na vartitavyam ityapi ramadivat vartitavyam ravanadivat na vartitavyam ityapi asmakam upadesha tatra jayate so it's very easy to grasp such advice from the itihasam so itihasam is called mitra samhitam or suhrut samhitam so it is an artha pradana uh, type of literature because there is more of arthavada arthavada is you are describing something you may even induce certain you can you may even bring out some katha some story where there is a lot of asatyam and there is a little bit of satyam The stories are generally katha ityute kathyate, so it has stokam satyam and it has a lot of mitya in it. But the point of it is to give an advice. The point of it is to show the right path of living. So Puranam's structure is always to give you stories and by way of that tell you what you have to ultimately do. The last one is ध्वनि प्रदान काव्यम तो कांता संहित मीरी शब्दार्थ गुणता नीत्वा व्यंजन प्रवण यी डोंट नीड इट नौ बट ऐव आलो इंक्लूडेड इट टू शो द डिफरेंस बिटवी वेद पुराण अंड काव्यम बिकॉज दी दीज आर द्री डिफाइनिंग सेट्स ऑफ लिटरेचर सो काव्यम इज मोर लाइक कांता संहित वेर अ वुमन ब्यूटिफुली एक्सप्लेन इट इन अचिकर way and she takes him along in the same way the kavyam also describes beautifully certain things and by way of that you are led into the good path in a without even knowing epdine theriyada abbe pone abingra and the madri you just land in the good path by listening to beautiful kavyam so that is dhvani pradanam dhvani or vyanjana suggestion so through suggestion you understand a lot of things from kavyam this is the difference between vedas puranas and kavyam no purana lakshanam ityute there are five parts to it sargascha pratisargascha vamsho manvantarani cha vamshanu charitam chaiva puranam pancha lakshanam puranam has five definitions that is it has to deal with these five topics sargah pratisargah cha vamshah manvantarani cha vamshanu charitam so these are the five things so sargah sargah is srishti prati sargah prati sargah is srishti again you are uh, uh, after every time there is a layam and then again there is a srishti punaha api srishti hi bhavati so prati sargah laya anantaram puna srishti hi katham bhavati iti that is also described here vamshah devadinam vamshah utpatti hi how was uh, you know brahma created prajapatis and each prajapati was responsible for the the utpatti of different class of beings that is the next section the fourth is manvantaram manvantaram is a, a, a description of kalam time how is the time divided and who is responsible for each section of time so we think of in a uh, in a very small way we have probably 100 years let's say so our lifetime is very limited we have seen our ancestors we have we will probably see some of our uh, descendants but for how long has this been that kalam is being defined in certain way in the puranam and who is res- who oversees the whole thing is one manu for every manvantara yugadi yuganam eka saptatihi that is there are 71 yugas which Con, uh, uh, together is considered as one manvantara and for that one manvantara there is one manu who is responsible so from the beginning you will have so for certain savarnihi iti manu if you uh, have read devi mahatmyam you will know uh, savarni manu he is one of the manu for him 
certain amount of time was allotted and he was the adhikara purushaha tasya kalasya evam pratyekasya api manvantarasya ekasya purushasya adhikara rupena ekasya purushasya niyogaha bhavati so that is your manvantaram which is the fourth topic that puranam deals with every puranam has its own way of dealing with this which is right which is wrong and the discussion la vandu is a separate uh, uh, topic by itself that will not come here next is vamsha anucharitam vamsha anucharitam so pratyeka vamshe jatanam purushanam athava nrupanam charitra varnanam so you have chandra vamsha surya vamsha yadu vamsha ikshvaku vamsha ityadi vamsheshu ye ye jataha santi tesham api charitra varnanam bhavati everything the the ultimate truth that you are trying to understand from each of those vamsha anucharitam or charitra varnanam is moksha and that will be dealt with at the end which is not part of this but every puranam will deal with moksha because the every person is going towards sukham and the ultimate sukham is moksha so puranam even though it has a lot of stories see some people you have to tell them a story for them to understand some people if you just tell him okay this is what happens then they will do it immediately so it depends on the audience who this is catered towards a particular set of audience who will understand after so much of stories then they will understand ah moksha pradhanam tu idam jeevitam tat moksha moksham prati eva sarve gachanti and then tatraiva sukham bhavati so to understand that it takes a long time for certain people and for uh, some people who read vishnu puranam you will get it at the end of uh, 5000 to 6000 shlokas if you are studying bhagavata puranam it will take about 14000 shlokas or padma puranam 80000 shlokas so each this is one of the shorter puranas among the uh, puranas that you have uh by definition vishnu puranam is supposed to have 23000 shlokas but the extent that is available today is only around 7000 shlokas depending on the numbering of each edition so the shlokas are the same some shlokas are included there are interpolations and then there are gadya sections in the third amsha and the fourth amsha the gadya portions are marked very differently by each uh, publisher so the numbers may be very different from what i have stated i have only included the numbers that are present in the text that we are following which is the parimal publication book there are six sections in this in the bhagavata puranam you have uh, uh, skandha so you have the prathama skandha dvitiya skandha iti tatra adhyayaha tadanantaram adhyayaha uh, santi and uh, pratyekasmin skandhi evameva the divisions here are called amsha parts so there are six parts in this puranam each part has so many adhyayas but the total number of adhyayas we are looking at is 126 adhyayas with uh, around 5500 shlokas or some in some cases it is 6000 6000 shlokas so each amsha uh, the, you have pisarga pratisarga vamsha vamsha anucharitam and manvantaram all of these are described in a very proper manner in vishnu puranam it is one of the very few puranas where you will find all uh, puranam panchalakshanam in it most of the other puranas you won't find all of the five here bhagavata puranam is uh, 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 something different totally it will give you 10 lakshanams for puranam and it will have all those 10 lakshanas in it so each one uh, for us we are only concerned about vishnu puranam so we are looking at the panchalakshanam which is commonly accepted generally there are other diversions in other puranas if you take padma puranam there are a lot of mahatmyam sthala puranam will be there sthala mahatmyani so kanchi mahatmyam halasi mahatmyam ityadikam so there are a lot of diversions in other puranas so it is voluminous whereas vishnu purana is probably the more easier to access for a lot of people and to have the feeling of completeness it's easy to get it from vishnu purana because it's a fairly smaller one so in the prathama amsha you prathama amsha deals with sarga pratisarga uh, which is srishti and layanantaram punasrishti kadam bhavati iti 
यतः यतो वा इमानि भूतानि जायन्ते येन जातानि जीवन्ति यत् प्रयन्ति अभिषम विषन्ति सो ब्रह्म ब्रह्म और सुप्रीम परमात्मा इज द सुप्रीम एंटिटी हियर इन विष्णु पुराणम यू फाइंड दैट विष्णु इज द सुप्रीम एंटिटी यू नेम इट एज विष्णु सो इट इज प्राइमरली आई आई वॉन्ट से इट इज प्राइमरली वैष्णव ग्रंथ इट इज रिगार्डेड वेरी हाईली बै दि वैष्णवास कैन वी पुट इट दट वे there are advaitic concepts which is very difficult to explain in the vishishta advaita concept there are some vishishta advaita concept also which is tough for an advaiti to attack but it, sometimes it is easy for an advaiti to explain the vishishta advaita concept because it's very easy to just say saguna brahma everything will come under that saguna uh, umbrella so it is very easy for us to uh, uh, explain the vishishta advaita concepts in advaita so you have sarga pratisarga sarga ha srishti hi and then pratisargam after srishti and samhara sthiti and samharam again how does this srishti happen then then the dvitiya amsha bhugola jyotish chakram is a description of the entire earth jambu dweepam all the every oh, how many ever dweepas are there the islands that are there each explanation the geographical location of those dweepas how relevant it is today whether we can map it to what it is today maybe we can maybe we cannot but we will read the text as such the third amsha uh, talks about kalam which is manvantaram fourth uh, talks about vamsha that is surya vamsha and chandra vamsha you have ikshvaku vamsha descriptions also there in the fifth amsha here he spends most of that fifth amsha in vamsha anucharitam and very spe- specifically krishna charitam so it's like a condensed version of bhagavatam dashamaskandam so in a very small easier manner we can uh, uh, study uh, dashamaskandam of bhagavatam here itself okay but uh, but the language is very different so bhagavata puranam is more a recent text so it has a lot of kavya influences in it whereas vishnu puranam is one of the older texts and uh, the language is uh, you cannot apply rules of grammar here to try to find out whether it is correct uh, sanskritam or not so these are all disclaimers in the beginning itself when you read puranam one is you cannot look for chandas rules you cannot look for grammar rules uh, it, it is beyond that sarvatra tu arsha prayogah iti vaktavya uh, rishi nam prayogah tatra vartate iti karanat you cannot explain certain things so as much as possible if you can explain well and good okay so vamsha nu charitam the fifth uh, amsha has the charitam of krishna uh, described in the sixth amsha the last portion is devoted to moksha because every manushya manava janme uh, janmani sarvebhya uh, uh, moksha so, so everybody wants to go towards moksha and ev- for everybody that is the final thing see moksha is मोचनात मोक्ष दट विच गिवस यू अ रिलीज फ्रॉम द दुखम दट यू एक्सपीरियंस एवरी डे दट इज वॉट पीपल वॉन्ट एंड सो इट इज डेल्ट विथ एट द एंड ऑफ द पुराण ओके विल मूव ऑन टू द फर्स्ट श्लोक सो द मंगल श्लोक दट ऐ हेव टेकन अप हियर वन इज नारायण नमस्कृ नरंज नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती वाचम तथो जय उदीर जय आक्चुअली दिस इज फॉर महाभारत महाभारत इज काल जय यूजली वेन यू स्टार्ट एनी वर्क विच इज रिटन बै व्यास यू हेव टू यु नो आफर युअर प्रणाम टू व्यास हिमसे एंड व्यास इज नारायण हिमसे व्यास विष्णु व्यास विष्णवे नमो वै ब्रह्म निधे वासीय नमो नम हि इज द डिसेंडेंट ऑफ वसीष्ठ एंड हि इज ऑफ द फॉर्म ऑफ विष्णु सो हि इज एन अंशावतार ऑफ विष्णु सो इफ यू लुक एट दि अवतार ऑफ विष्णु देर आर टेन प्रिंसिपल अवतार देर आर लीला अवतार अंशावतार सो वन ऑफ दि अवतार इज व्यास हिमसे सो नारायण नमस्कृत त्र नारायण रूपेण विद्यम व्यास नमस्कृत वक्त शक्य है नरंज नरोत्तम अथवा तत्र नर नारायण भगवत आंशभूत ये यौ बदरीकाश्रमे तपस्कुर तपकुर्वत 
So Narayana and Nara Narayana, the Nara and Narayana, or actually Krishna and Arjuna, they are performing tapas in the Badrika Ashrama constantly, and they are the avatara of Vishnu also. So uh, before Vishnu ascends to Vaikuntham, when he finishes his uh, Krishna avatara, he calls Uddhava and tells him to go to Nara Narayana and tell him that my avataram is over. So that was that was why Uddhava stayed after Krishna went to Vaikuntha, after Krishna avataram. So Naram na, Narottamam, Naranam Uttamaha Yaha Naraha Vidyate Tam Naram Narayanam Cha Namaskritya. Devim Saraswatim Vacham Cha Namaskritya. After uh, uh, doing namaskaram to both uh, Saraswati Devi, Jayam Udirayetu, Jayam Udirayetu, Jaya Shabdam Vaktavyam. You can also say that, or you can say any Puranam, any Itihasam has to be said after uh, uh, you know doing namaskaram to Narayana and Nara and Saraswati. Yeah. So, this is a normal Mangala Shloka. The next two Shlokas are actually given in the Parimal publication that is. Uh, where, where Sridhar Swami has uh, done the Vyakhyanam for it. Uh, I forgot about that. Uh, so there are two main commentaries for Vishnu Puranam. One is Atma Prakasha, which is by Sridhar Swami. The other is Vishnu Chittiyam, which is written by Vishnu Chitta. Vishnu Chitta is actually not the original Andal, this thing, but he is uh, Yengal Lalvan, who is uh, uh, the disciple of Ramanuja. And he has written a Vyakhyanam also. Uh, but that is uh, mostly, completely on Vishishta Advaita. Sri Swami is, uh, how do I say, he is more an Advaitin and a Bhaktivedanta. Bhaktivedanta. Uh, the Go, Goswami and other tradition for them, Sri Swami is like the uh, foremost of uh, Bhakti uh, movement. Okay, But he has also written the Vyakhyanam in a very Advaitic style. So, uh, he gives a lot of importance to Advaita Vedanta. So, I will follow mostly his Vyakhyanam. I will also refer to Vishnu Chittiyam wherever necessary, wherever it is tough to explain through Advaita. So, I will definitely refer to that also. For Kovida, for Chittur exams, you will have to, uh, you can explain it in any manner. It doesn't matter. You're, only the Moolam is there for the exam. The first shloka in Sridhar Swami's text is Jitamte Pundari Kaksha, Namaste Vishwabhavana, Namaste Stukrishi Kesha, Mahapurusha Purvaja. This shloka will not be there in Vishnu Chittiyam. It will start off with uh, the fifth shloka, which is Parasharam Munivaram Krita Purvanika Kriyam. This is how the other editions will start. Even Gorakhpur edition will start with Parasharam Munivaram. Okay. About the authorship of this text. Uh, it's again very debatable. Many people think that it is uh, Vyasa. Some people think it is Parashara. So, because it is the oldest Puranam, and uh, Shankara, Adi Shankara has quoted a lot from Vishnu Puranam, but he is not quoted from many other Puranas. So, we take it as the most authentic Purana. He doesn't quote from Bhagavatam, of course. So, he, which is supposed to be a later text. Vishnu Puranam, whereas many people, many uh, uh, commentators have quoted from Vishnu Purana. So it is considered as one of the most authentic and the oldest Purana. Uh, it, the, so it's also said to be written by Parashara or said by Parashara. That's why I, I, my first slide will always say Parasharena Uktam Tathu Kintu Vyasa Pranitam. It's like Vyasa saying Bharata and Ganesha writing the Purana. Something very similar to that. He probably listened to the conversation between Parashara and Maitreya and wrote it down for reference. So Vyasa must have written it down, but it is actually being told by Parashara. Parashara and Maitreya, sorry, uh, Vyasa and Maitreya were students of Parashara. Vyasa was the son of Parashara also. Okay. So Maitreya is a student of uh, Parashara. Now, it's this first Adhyayam has the Mangalacharanam and the questions that Maitreya asks Parashara, Parasharam Prati Maitreya si Prashnaha, Tasya Uttaradhanamcha, whatever, what answer he gives and how he heard it, this is not something that Parashara has invented or created on his own, but it is something he has heard. So, Karna Paramparaya Yadhyat Shrutam, 
तां परंपराम अभी वदति अंतिमे भागे अथवा द्वितीय अध्याये सो द फर्स्ट श्लोक इज जितम ते पुंडरी काक्ष नमस्ते विश्वभावना नमस्ते अस्तु हृषिकेश महापुरुष पूर्वज एवरीथिंग इज लाइक एन एडजेक्टिव टू विष्णु पुंडरी काक्ष ते जितम भवतु सो मे यू बी विक्टोरियस உனக்கு நன்மை உண்டாகட்டும் அப்படின்னு சொல்றோம் இல்லையா ஜெயம் உண்டாகட்டும் ஜெயம் இஸ் நாட் லிட்ரலி மீனிங் விக்ட்ரி பட் சர்வோத்கர்ஷேண வர்த்ததே இது ஸோ ஜெயதி இத்தே தத்திர சர்வோத்கர்ஷேண வர்த்ததே ட்ரான்சென்ட் எவ்ரிபடி அண்ட் ஹீ ஷைன்ஸ் ஸோ விட் மீன்ஸ் சக ஏவ அதிஷ்டானூத பரமாத்மா அத்திர ச ஏவ சர்வோத்கர்ஷூபேண வர்த்ததே ஓகே no but for every adjective that he uses here he has one jitam namaste namaste astu the pratyekasya api tatra kriya anvayitvam vartate so why he has different is it's a different uh, uh, you have to take it as a different uh, sentence by itself so he pundari kaksha te jitam bhavatu he vishvabhavana te namaha he hrishikesha te namaha astu ஹே மகாபுருஷ ஹே பூர்வஜ யூ ஹேவ் டு டேக் இட் செப்பரேட்லி அண்ட் அட்டாச் த வர்க் டு இட் அண்ட் ஈச் விசேஷனம் ஹேஸ் அ ஸ்பெசிபிக் மீனிங் ஸோ சிம்பிள் மீனிங் இஸ் புண்டரீ காட்ச புண்டரீக இவ அக்ஷிணி புண்டரீகே இவ அக்ஷிணி எஸ் எஸ் அஹ ஒன் ஹூ ஹேஸ் லோட்டஸ் ஐஸ் லோட்டஸ் லைக் ஐஸ் அல்லது மலர்ந்த கண்கள் இல்லையா அதுதான் அந்த தாமரை போன்ற மலர்ந்த கண்கள்ங்கிறோம் உனக்கு அது ஒண்ணு நெக்ஸ்ட் இஸ் விஸ்வ பாவனா விஸ்வம் பாவயதி இது விஸ்வ பாவனா இப் ஒன் ஹூ இஸ் ஏபிள் டு மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் தி என்டயர் வேர்ல்டு ஸோ சர்வ பூதாத்மா இது இந்திரியாத்மா இது ஸோ ஈச் அப்ஜெக்டிவ் இஸ் நவ் கோயிங் டு இண்டிகேட் எ பர்டிகுலர் ஃபார்ம் ஆஃப் த பரமாத்மா வென் யூ சே புண்டரி காட்ச இட் இஸ் அ பஞ்ச பூதாத்மா ஸ்தூல சரீரம் திர வர்ணியத்தை so this is stool shariram is uh, uh, the five elements of the world which is the first uh, form that we see in front of us now when you talk about uh, atma or when you talk about bhagavan you, you don't go directly to the abstract you grow go from the known to the unknown so what you see in front of you is the first thing that you know which is the world which is the pancha bhutani pancha bhutatmakam idam jagate iti nyayate eva தனந்தரம் கிம் எதத்து இத்தேத்து தசி ஆத்மனா ஷரீரம் ஸ்தூல ஷரீரம் வர்த்ததே ஸோ த ஃபஸ்ட் புண்டரீ காட்ச இஸ் வாட் யூ சீ இன் ஃப்ரண்ட் ஆஃப் யூ அண்ட் யூ ஈக்வேட் இட் டு சம்திங் தட் இஸ் டிவைன் அண்ட் சே எஸ் திஸ் இஸ் த பாடி ஆஃப் தி ஆத்மா நெக்ஸ்ட் யூ கோ டு த செகண்ட் பார்ட் ஹூ இஸ் த காஸ் ஃபார் திஸ் என்டயர் வேர்ல்டு ஸோ தெர் மஸ்ட் பி அ டிஃப்ரெண்ட் காஸ் இஃப் திஸ் இஸ் த பாடி ஆஃப் பரமாத்மா விஸ்வபாவனா இத்தே விஸ்வம் எத்தியே ஸோ விஸ்வபாவனா ஏன மாயையா சக விஸ்வம் பாவயதி உத்பாவயதி த மாயா வித் விச் ஹீ மேனிஃபெஸ்ட் திஸ் என்டயர் வேர்ல்டு ஸோ விஸ்வசிய காரணூத அப்படி சக ஏவ இது பிரதான ஆத்மா பிரதானம் பிரகிரி so he is of the form of prakriti also so prakriti or maya is non different from the atman it is a part of the atma himself just as how maya or shakti shrihi is a part of vishnu okay next is hrishikesha hrishikesha hrishikanam eeshah hrishika is indriya indriyanam eeshah indriya atma api uh, prakriti and then so you can't go directly from the sthula shariram to the karana shariram there is an in between which is the sukshma shariram the sukshma shariram is formed by 17 products here there is a or periya potla madri katti and the atma it moves from one body to another body with 17 things around it you make it into a package what are the 17 things pancha karmendriyam pancha gnanendriyam pancha prana and then manas buddhi these are the 17 things so these 17 things go with the atma from one shariram to another when it takes another janma that is called the sukshma shariram of a jeeva for of a of, a, of the atma paramatma there is another 
Sukshma Shariram, which is he is responsible, he is the Antaryami or the Niyanta for all the Indriyas that are present for cognizing everything. He is again the Antaratma for all of these Indriyas. So Indriya Atma api Sayeva Tasya Sukshma Shariram api Vidyate. Then you have Mahapurusha and Purvaja. So this Mahapurusha and Purvaja are the Paramatma and Jeevatma. The connection between this Prakriti and the Atma Swarupam, Chit and Achit. The first three are about the Achit. Achit is that which is not conscious, which is uh, uh, Prakriti, so Stula Shariram, Sukshma Shariram and Karana Shariram. Then when you come to the Atma Swarupam, that is of two types. One is in the cosmos level, you have the Paramatma, which is the Supreme you have the Atma Swarupa, which is the Jeevatma. So, Mahapurusha Ityukte, Tatra Paramatma Swarupam uh, uh, Suchayati, Purvajaha, Purvajaha Purvam Jayate, one who is the most ancient one. Tari Atra Adhyananta Rahita Atma Eva Purvaja Iti Shabdena Uchyate. So, it is the Jeevatma here. Okay, so these are the Pancha Atma Harihi. Pundari Kaksha is a word that we generally attribute to Vishnu. Yeah. Uh, so, because this being Vishnu Puranam, and we are talking of Vishnu as being of this five Atma Swarupa, which is Paramatma, Jeevatma, Tadanantaram, Pradhana Atma, Indriya Atma, Bhutatma. Okay, with these five adjectives. So, Jitamte Pundari Kaksha Namaste Vishwabhavana Namaste Astu Hrishi Kesha Mahapurusha Purvaja. If you look at the Vyakhyanam of Sridhar Swami, you will find this explanation there. Um, this uh, shloka Bhutatmacha Indriyatmacha Pradhanatma Tatha Bhavane Atmacha Paramatmacha Tvam Ekaha Panchadha Sthitaha. The Atma Ekaha Eva. Kintu panchadha, pancha vidham. So panchataya sahas thitaha loke. He is understood in five different forms. One is panchabhuta atma, the other is indriya atma, pradhana atma. So here his uh, uh, the, the uh, uh, order is very correct. Here you have bhutatma is the sthula shariram, indriya atma is the sukshma shariram, pradhana atma is the karana shariram. Then you have the Jeevatma, Tadanantara Meva Paramatma. The gradation is there very clearly in this shloka. So this is found in the fifth amsha of Vishnu Puranam itself. So Sridhar Swami takes that and uh, gives it in his Vyakhyanam. You can check that also. So Jitamte Pundari Kaksha Namaste Vishwabhavana Namaste Stuhrishi Kesha Mahapurusha Purvaja. Yeah. Uh, if you have any doubts, you can ask. Cherry. Um, the name. Oh, no, ah, sorry. So, no. Yeah, in the pair, when the over a shari, a total connector than grid. Stula shari. Pradhan atma, I can understand. Karana shariram is the karanam for the stulam and sukshma shariram. Adoda undu unda arthka. But how is the. Pundari kaksha connected with Bhutatma? Ah. Tamarai Kannan, Kamala Kannan Dane. So Tamara Pushpam Mande is part of the Panchabhutam. Panchabhuta Tunudi a creation Dane. And the, when you come to the world, Apadana and Ambon, the comparing Alam Panamudio. I'll be Sukhna Shari at Lerin and the Engan thing on this Adrisham comparison Panamudio. You will have to be in the physical world for you to do some comparison between a Vedu or Tamarai Kunt, Kandukun, and the compare Pandra. Abding Ramari Tamaringra the Purula Edithindome, Edithindome, the object itself is Panchabhutatma Kapanchatra. So Pundari Kakshaha, when you, when you talk of a form for the formless, Atma Surupatka form Kadayad. Anna Tamari Pondra, Aragana, Kandala would even the number Cholum Burdu, Angavandu, you are giving a form to something which is formless. Raguna, it is Apo Bhutat Madananga. So same way, Vishwa Bhavanaha, Vishwam Bhavayati, Anna the Vishwam Bhavayati, yet manifest to Pandra. We manifest to Pandra state, na it is in the beach of Brupe and Ayeva Tatravartate, Apo. Adi Pradhanam Dane. Prakriti Yoda Yurukum Burdhane Vishwatta Utpati Sayakuri or Urvalamai Kondada Rakodhi. 
इट इस स्टिल नॉट विश्व विश्वात्मा इति न विश्व भावना हा इति उक्ते विश्वम उद्भाव यति सहा सो इट इस स्टिल इन द स्टेज ऑफ प्रकृति इट इस नॉट आउटसाइड स्टिल ओके ठीक है कृषि कैसे इस स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड स्ट्रेट फॉरवर्ड अध बाजी क्रीम महापुरुष पूर्वज एल्ला में इजी इधर एंडो अमा ओके Anything else? Okay. Check. 